While people head to bomb shelters, Israel's high-tech defense mechanism kicks into action, aka the Iron Dome. Now the name is symbolic, it is not an actual dome or an umbrella or anything of the sort. The Iron Dome is Israel's homegrown missile defense system. It was reportedly conceived in the year 2005 and rapidly developed after the 2006 war, the war between Israel and Hezbollah in 2006. Back then, thousands of rockets were launched at Israel from Lebanon and they caused massive damage to Israeli infrastructure. So Israeli firms began working full steam on the Iron Dome with some help from the US. And by the year 2011, the first battery was deployed. Today, there are 10 Iron Dome systems protecting Israel. Our next report tells you how they work. The Iron Dome, Israel's force field, Tel Aviv's all-weather rocket repulsion system, a system that Hamas breached on Saturday. A lot has been said about the Iron Dome, about its successes and recent failures. We'll get to that too. But before that, do you know how it actually works? The visuals you're seeing right now are of just one third of the Iron Dome. This is the missile battery. It's stage three of the Iron Dome's defensive operation. To understand how the system works, let's look at the big picture. Whenever a rocket or missile or even a drone is launched at Israel, the first step to counter it is, of course, detection. The incoming aerial threat is identified and tracked by stage one of the Iron Dome, the detection and tracking radar, the ELM-2084. This is a 3D ASA MMR. For those not fluent in military speak, 3D here means three-dimensional radar, ASA stands for Active Electronically Scanned Array, and MMR means multi-mission radar. The important thing to know about the ELM-2084 is that it is state-of-the-art. It detects even the smallest projectiles over a large range. It can detect, identify, and then follow the incoming threats. Not just that, it also keeps a track of Israel's own missiles so that the Iron Dome doesn't accidentally target Israeli weapons. So effectively, stage one of the Iron Dome is this radar, which works as its eyes. Stage two is its brain, the Iron Dome's battle management control. From the outside, it looks like a shed, but the shed houses serious computational power. The battle management system processes the information being sent by the radar. It calculates the trajectory of the incoming projectiles. It sees where the strike will take place, and then it makes a judgment call. It chooses which incoming projectiles to target and which to ignore. And it sends this information to stage three of the Iron Dome. The missile battery. An Iron Dome battery contains three or four missile launchers. Look at this launcher up close. Do you see the X marks? Five columns and four rows of them. Behind them are the missiles. Each launcher contains 20 Tamir interceptor missiles. Tamir means tall in Hebrew. Interceptor is self-explanatory. These missiles have a range of between 4 to 70 kilometers. They're fired at the incoming projectiles, and the interceptors then live up to their name. They take out the target and protect those below. We mentioned that the interceptors have a range of about 70 kilometers. This is in all directions from the missile battery. Using your high school geometry, you can see how this forms a half sphere of defense, a defensive dome centered at the battery. The Iron Dome system has been in service since 2011. That's when the first battery was set up. By now, Israel has 10 in total. The plan was to put up 15 batteries, but that was before this week's events. Now, who knows how many Iron Domes will be set up? You see, for all that's been said about its failure this week, the Iron Dome is still an excellent system. It has a 90% success rate while taking down enemy projectiles. This time, it just got overwhelmed. There were too many incoming rockets and not enough interceptors to bring them all down. That doesn't mean the Iron Dome failed. The 10 batteries did all they could. Israel just needs more batteries. Now, the Iron Dome isn't cheap. Back in 2013, it cost about 50 million to set up one battery. With upgrades and inflation, it'll cost more now. But it's needed now more than ever. 
Saturday's attack has changed the face of West Asia. Israel will need to set up more iron domes to keep its civilians safe in the months to come.